Welcome back, fellow warriors, to the stage of history. My name is Cosmo Jazz, and we are here with the hunting SCP-3139 America's Labyrinth. This is by the rubber, the goaded channel that it is. And I am very looking much forward to this, even though it took me a while to get to it. Um, a couple things I want to get to before we get into the reaction. I have been told in one of my other reactions that their videos, the Rubbers videos, are getting age restricted sometimes. So, if that happens and you see me react to it, let me know. And I, I might try to reach them on that to see what's going on because if theirs is getting age restricted, then that means mine is probably going to be age restricted. Not like I make any money on these things, but I do want it to get out to as many people as possible. So, I might have to see if I can see what's happening to theirs in particular. I think we can guess on what happened on the other one that uh, happened uh, to theirs getting age restricted, but it's better not to take any chances than anything, right? So, uh, without further ado, let's get into this, shall we? Viewer discretion is advised. I was never a fan of found footage tapes. You know the kind typically a VHS or some handheld device that is supposedly found showing really disturbing stuff. Well, I actually have a skit me, I hope to uh, make on TikTok on about something VHS like that. Tape. And despite my refusal at watching such an obviously fake recording, he offered to pay for pizza if I watched it. Hey, you gotta do it now. Once we had our food, we sat down in front of the TV, inserted the tape, and what followed was probably the eeriest experience of my life. The tape opened up with some sort of game show-like stage with a well-dressed man greeting the audience. What's that in the As back? As he was in the middle of describing the game to three contestants on stage, the camera suddenly jolted to the side. Instead of focusing on the contestants, the camera was focused on some masked entity hiding behind some decorated flowers. This I wouldn't exactly call that a mask. mask and slowly it's slid into the blinking. darkest of the stage <laughs> as it looked at the cameraman. My friend and I sat up straight and put our slices down, afraid to say anything as we were watching the screen. As the game show continued, the camera jolted again to the side and showed us that same mask entity peering out from backstage again. However, it pointed at the contestant this time, causing him to gasp and the camera to shake. Fearful of this, the cameraman took the camera off the tripod and ran with it as he tried to run out of the building. Why he took the camera, the we didn't know or really care. What we did care about was how the masked entity darted out from a hallway, tackled the contestant who was screaming, and the screen cut to black. I felt a chill down my spine. It was supposed to be a game show, but this seemed too real. I was expecting some fake supernatural monsters or a cheaply made staged stunt, but that looks more like a snuff film to me. My friend pulled the tape out of the VHS player and stared at it. I could tell he was in shock, too. Guess you better return the tape. Looks like something that could get us into trouble. He remained silent for a moment. He was beginning to look pale, too. After a Why? while, he turned to me and said, One of the contestant is my uncle. Hello, everybody. I'm the rubber. How Today, did you we know? Bring you SCP <laughs> Foundation Safe Class Where did you get that SCP tape? SCP-3139. SCP-3139, also known as America's Labyrinth, refers to a plain VHS tape from the unknown company Kipper Media Incorporated. Hmm. The tape itself has no anomalous abilities and can be handled without any danger to the holder. It functions the same as a normal VHS tape would and can be converted to other digital media formats. It should be noted hmm. that while the footage on the tape is anomalous when played, it becomes non-anomalous when played in other media. Finally, the footage on the tape could not be recorded over... I have to look up what that means. means. I'm not going to lie. SCP-3139-1 <laughs> is the footage itself, nearly an hour long in length. The cameraman is believed to use a handheld camera and in some instances a tripod. The footage details an unknown game show called America's Labyrinth. However, no evidence of the existence of the show has been found by the Foundation. 
Hmm. A host will come on stage and explain the game to the audience and contestants as he tells jokes. Who the heck is Whenever the audience? Whenever the tape is played, a new iteration will take its place, becoming slightly different. The host, the set, the building, and the existence of an unknown entity stalking the cameraman exist within each iteration. The unknown entity, designated as SCP-3139-A, will stalk SCP-3139-B, the contestant who operates their own camera. It will pursue the holder of the camera, often seen watching them from behind set pieces. After a few viewings, okay. Foundation researchers realize that the cameraman's identity changes with each iteration, ranging from men to women and from an adult to a child. SCP-3139-A is the entity that stalks the holder of the camera. It is a mask. Its general appearance is that of a tall, Caucasian man wearing black clothing and a rabbit mask. The host will sometimes refer to this entity, calling it Chompers. The host is not fearful of Chompers and even speaks about it in a friendly manner. Attempts by 3139-B to remove the mask will cause Chompers to retreat and yell in pain as it covers its face. The if 3139-B is caught by 3139-A, the tape will immediately cut to black. From there, the host will talk about the game show to the audience, and the tape will end shortly after. If 3139-B can escape the building, they will teleport on stage next to the host. The host will then congratulate them on winning and give them a prize. Those that have seen the footage feel sick and even fearful. Uh -oh. Yet researchers believe that this is simply due to the eeriness of the tape itself and not an anomalous effect, nor is it a cognitive hazard. The audience and the host will loudly kind of like me with the analog the holder of the horror. Camera. However, should he fail, he will be met with boos and even death threats. Something most curious that was noticed by a researcher was that Chompers ages in real time. From the time of 3139's discovery, Wait, Chompers has seemingly aged the same corresponding years. Investigations are still ongoing to research more on this fact. 3139-B, or the camera holder, has been determined to be someone to those that view 3139-1. This in turn means that those who view the tape are safe from becoming a victim of it. Okay. If your sibling, mother, father, cousin, and even children can become 3139-B. Typically a oh, family sucks. member is chosen since they are the favorite relative of the viewer. And should the iteration of 3139-B be a child, they will be artificially aged up to that of a young adult. While not common, the host and audience will sometimes refer to 3139-B victims by their full names. It is apparent that the game show itself, the contestants on stage, none of that matters. What matters is that 3139-B is chased by 3139-A and summarily captured or manages to escape. This Escape is crazy. proves difficult as the building they are in is a massive and similar to a maze. Compounding that with 3139-A constantly chasing them, there is little hope of making it out. On the off chance, a victim manages to escape, they have no memory of the event at all, and no further anomalous effects manifest. Individuals even the, the contestant in 3139-1 claim they have no knowledge of participating in the show, or the existence of 3139 when interviewed. However, when asked to view the recording, they will vehemently refuse, often with extreme levels of aggression or panic. When provided with photographic evidence of their participation in the recording, they will continue to issue denials, often accusing the individual providing them with the evidence of photo manipulation or attempting a prank. Despite this, all who have managed to escape express intense fear when asked to watch 3139-1, all without knowing why. As for those that do it's like not a escape, super repressed memory. they will become completely erased from our reality. Their oh, families will have shoot. no photos or records of any kind of their existence. Disturbingly, identified victims that failed to escape have been seen in the audience cheering and enjoying the game show. But if a family member views the tape, they become agitated and panicked, oftentimes pleading for help as they stare directly into the camera held by 3139-B. Most disheartening is that some family members have said that some audience members look like they could be related to them. Researchers believe these audience members to be unborn children of the viewer, aged up. This Yo. hypothesis has some basis as all family viewers are apparently incapable of having children despite no issues of fertility. As of the latest viewing, the audience consists Yo. of 57 individuals, which have been described by the viewers as having physical similarities that resemble their parents or relatives. 
The following is the transcript of a recording of 3139-1, as viewed by a D-Class subject, D-616. The victim has been identified as a relative of D-616. The camera begins by panning over the meager audience members loudly cheering and clapping as the host runs out from among the audience and onto the stage. He greets everyone with a charming smile and a deep, gravelly voice. Hello everyone and welcome back to Cable's number one game show, America's Labyrinth. Last time, our contestant was not so lucky. This time though, I have a good feeling about this one. So now, ladies and gents, give a round of applause to our newest one from California. Then the screen cuts to that of a handheld camera inside a maze-like concrete structure. Loud breathing is audible behind the camera held by the contestant. The contestant is an old man who appears to be around 70 years of age. The host looks on happily as the camera you didn't start like the other guy. his face with a confused and panicked look. The tape then cuts to the old man's point of view as he frantically runs through the maze-like building, breathing heavily. As he runs, the host and the audience can be heard jeering and laughing off screen. Come on, slowpoke. Need a wheelchair to carry your geriatric self? <laughs> the audience then laughs, okay. claps, and cheers. The victim is then startled by chompers as he charges from a nearby hallway toward the man. Screaming for help, the old man runs in the opposite direction as the audience continues to laugh. The man eventually finds a row of doors along a hallway and manages to find an unlocked I'm starting to see the, uh, He shoved himself inside and locked the, the door. Side of this. Chompers is heard running down the hallway until his footsteps fade away, causing the audience to groan in frustration. Nearly a half hour later, the man finally leaves the room and quietly walks around the hallway, afraid to be too loud. Well, I'll be damned, folks. Look at him. The oldest contestant we've had to date, and he's lasted much longer than the younger ones. Look at that swagger in those steps. Makes him look 10 years younger now, doesn't it? Give him a round of applause. The audience claps excitedly Ooh, as they continue to watch the man cautiously move dark. through the halls, shivering in fear. After a minute, he comes across another row of doors and stops when he hears movement coming from one of them. With ease, Chompers kicks down the door and sprints toward the old man as it lets out a piercing shriek. The old man, startled, drops the camera and runs, but is apparently caught as loud banging sounds are heard. Then the footage uh. cuts to the host staring at the camera for seven minutes straight, unmoving, unblinking in utter silence. And so we have claimed another, another prey. You are truly delicious. Absolutely delicious. The audience burst into cheers and laughter once more before the tape cuts. Jeez. That, that's, wow. Okay, that one was dark. Uh, so when it first started, they were talking about how he was a snuff film and whatnot. And I was just thinking to myself, like, it didn't seem that bad. But as they started explaining it more and more, I was just thinking, it's like, man, this is getting worse by the second. And then they talked about how it was taking unborn children and aging them up. Uh, just like, what? And then not only that, but the people who they took it from, they can't even have kids anymore. That's like super dank. Like the holy crap. That's dark. Um, oh man, this one, uh, I don't know who came up with this one, but you might need a little, uh, a little bit of help there, sir. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I, th I think the most interesting thing about this one was that, like, the beginning kind of said, it wasn't like the normal thing where you see the tape or the media or whatever, and then it attacks you. It's attacking your family is what it's doing. And that makes it almost ten times worse, in my opinion, because... They didn't even have a choice in this matter. You just literally almost are helping murder somebody you care about just by watching this thing, even though you didn't mean to, of course. And then the fact that if even if they make it out, they don't even remember what happened, which I guess is a blessing and a curse at the same time. But 
Now I'm kind of wondering, because they mentioned the present. What is it, the present? Is the present the ability to forget everything that happened? I kind of want to know more about that now, too. Also, what... So, the tape or whatever is an entity all itself. I'm guessing it's feeding off of these people to keep going in itself. As it said, you were delicious and stuff. But he didn't eat them. The bunny thing did. So, I guess it's all one big entity. And as each one dies, it becomes a part of that entity to make it go stronger and anything. Probably to create even better media sources for it. Like it's at USBs. DVDs, etc. Uh, very interesting. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below. Um, and as I was pointing out earlier, would you rather be one of those tapes that attacks you or one of these things that attacks your family if you were in this situation? And why? Uh, and as always, um, I am trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you would help me with your subscription, that would be wonderful. Uh, but as always, take care, stay safe, and let's kick 2023's ass.